top speeds of 150 miles, that's not far away of what human drivers do and given the fact that we're in late October and we hadn't really a lot of time to work on setup and all those race car details, I'm really proud of what we showed today. So give us a couple of more days and we'll be hitting times here which will be comparable to human drivers. The format of this race is that the competition is 100% uh, on the, the brain of the car. It's like a human brain a replica. The cars are exactly identical in every detail, also on the tuning. So we cannot, uh, I don't know, make a tuning on the suspension, which is something which is typically done by a team. The first times you let the car go completely on its own, it probably feels a little bit like yeah, if a, if a child goes on for yeah, like a dinner, party, whatever the first time, it's like yeah, the car is a grown up now and goes out and is fully on its own. You still see somehow what's, what's going on, so we have data coming from the car, but we can't influence what the car is doing. many people that are like, I'm not going to, to go anyway and uh, on an autonomous car is too scary. So if the people get used to see cars like this going uh, 300 kilometers per hour, which is quite impressive, uh, and they don't crash, they work. Uh, so they say, okay, they can do it at that speed, 50 kilometers per hour, maybe it's safe.